As the title of this video is, uh, don't piss away your life on a window washing company. Um, unless you love window washing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But, I don't know. I was just, like, finally inspired to just express something I've learned about life. Just being around a bunch of 20-year-olds who are starting a career in the military. Um, in a, in a badass branch, which is the Coast Guard. A lot of my friends here, they're half my age. I just turned 40, and they're 20... 21 uh, Sometimes we're, mar we're marched around by a guy that's half my age 20 years old and sometimes I'm we're marched around by a 19 year old who is still in high school He's still in high school, and he's about to be a petty officer in the reserves um, His junior year in high school That summer before his senior year he went to boot camp After boot camp he goes to his senior year finishes all of his classes and now he's in Maritime Law Enforcement Academy. He's going to come out of here a petty officer and go to prom. You know, and then he then he goes on the weekends 2 hours away and he duck hunts at his, you know, he goes home and he duck hunts and he he, he he's just a uh, this kid's like way ahead of life. I don't know, I don't know how he I was never that mature when I was that age to just go to boot camp during the summer, which is an extremely hard thing to do. The, the Coast Guard boot camp is second only to the marine boot camp but not in stress it's the highest stress level boot camp that there is um as far as mental stress on your body i mean on your brain and um and then i, I compare that to uh me going into my 30s 20 26 27 starting to win actually i was like about 25 starting a window washing company got it really strong became one of the number one companies in my area by 35 um, and that's after just kind of dicking around and not and being a janitor and then realizing oh my gosh I get, gotta get my life serious at the age of 30 31 and then just went full-blown into window cleaning and then now joining the reserves at 40 or at 38 pretty much so I'm 40 now I'm finally gonna be a petty officer but uh Lord willing I have two weeks left here out out at um, the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center. I, I don't regret um, because I never would have, I don't think I was mature enough to be in the military when I was even 30. However, if I went back, if this isn't a regret, so it doesn't hurt me at all, but I was like, man, if I, I would have done a lot better um, going into the military at about 30 years old into the reserves. So if you're 30, 28, whatever, and you're kind of thinking about it, don't wait till the last minute. Um, I could just tell you by experience, I don't regret it, but I could be 10 years in right now. And then instead of going 20 years from now, I could retire in, in 10. But I, I have, you know, I pretty much need 19 more years now to, uh, to retire. But that's what I decided to do with my life for the next 20 years. And who knows, in five years, it might change. Um, I think I'm just the type of guy that's going to be in my mid 50s, late 50s, still deploying, uh, patrolling Guantanamo Bay and ports in Africa and stuff like that. I just see myself as that type of guy that would just wither away and die if I had just money coming in and I was just laying around my pool all day. I would just probably get sick and <clears throat> I need something to, to challenge me. I know, I know myself. But if you're thinking of joining the Coast Guard or any other branch, I, I can't imagine being in, a, in another branch besides uh, the Coast Guard. It's, it's just awesome. Um, look at, you could just look at other YouTube videos about Coast Guard people and, and why it's better than the other branches. We don't have the best boats. We don't have the best guns. We don't have the best almost anything. We have the best people, though. That's, what, that's, what, that's how our branch stands out, is having the best people, the best trained uh, people, because we're, we're the only life-saving service out of all of them. And we also do navigation, port security. Um, we have some of the best uh, sharpshooters. We, we, we go to schools that, that snipers go to. Um, so there's a lot of things that the Coast Guard does that I don't have the articulation right now to tell you. But you're starting a window cleaning company. Let, let's talk about this. Don't get caught in the trap. You're, you're, uh, you go out and do, do cleaning and it's just this magical thing. You're in this million dollar home. You feel like a millionaire while you're there and you think you're going to somehow be able to afford a house like that someday owning a window washing company. 
and maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Um, you have to understand that who you are right now, starting a little window washing company, you won't, if you ever bring the business to a point where you're able to afford a house like that, you will not recognize yourself. You will be a completely different human being. It, the cash flow it takes to have a multi-million dollar window washing company, the cash flow and character that it takes is way beyond who you are right now. The, the obstacles you're gonna have to overcome mentally, physically, financially, uh, economically with, with the economy coming up and down, you have to be way different of a person. So just imagine everything you have to go through. So my suggestion, if you ever want to really make money cleaning windows, and you might think you make money right now, you might make a thousand bucks a day and think, man, I could, I could retire someday. Do you make at least 500 to 800 bucks a day cash flow without touching the window washing company? Do you have enough accounts and enough employees where that I tell you, most of you guys don't. 95% of you do not. There is a one, there's a 5% or a 1% of window cleaners who there's probably 3% of you guys out there have what I have, which is just maybe 5%, which is a company that's being ran 2,000 miles away with about 30 minutes a day of work. My wife does probably 30 minutes to an hour a day of work, bidding a couple jobs. And pretty much all she does is submit invoices and put checks in the bank. Submit invoices, put checks in the bank. The and then pay employees and subcontractors. Cause we I've created a clientele that pays us automatically that we never have to talk to. We go clean the windows and um the employees clean them. Uh the checks come in. It's just kind of a the employees clean them, the checks come in. We put them in the bank, we pay the bills. That takes about a half hour to an hour a day. Um, we hardly ever run into any issues anymore because we're serving commercial clients. If there's a few drips left on a window, people, commercial clients really don't care, just so they're cleaned periodically and their windows look nice, at least 80%, 90% nice. We don't sit there and detail everything. They look good, that's the type of client I have. Anyway, I digress. What I'm trying to say, is there's a very, very small percentage of you guys out there who have that. Now, some of you have way bigger companies than me. Some of you have a lot more cash flow, but you're working the business around the clock. And what you're doing is you're like, unless you're, you're, if you went and cleaned windows for yourself today, you're just going to clean the windows for yourself tomorrow. If you're not actively creating systems that will eventually set you free from the, from this company, then you're, then, uh, you're just going to keep cleaning windows and you know, you can only make a certain amount every day. And what if you get injured? What if you get sick? Where's your benefits? So my suggestion, this is just, you know, some of you guys aren't, aren't military guys, but you can still be military part time. Um, is if you join the reserves at 25, 30 years old, 35 years old, even if you're coming to 40, it's really nice to have something else that you are <clears throat> and remember if you ever if you're ever activated like they need you to, to deploy to deploy for a few months you get paid like i think it's 100 150 bucks more a day than active people because that's part of the incentive of joining the reserves when you're activated you you get you get they pay like what your rent is in your city they they pay you overseas pay they pay you uh separation from your family pay they pay you um active pay and then I think there's another bonus or incentive in there it's kind of cool but if you think about this I pay about a hundred 218 bucks a month for full benefits for my family wife and four kids that's insane so about 200 bucks for full benefits that's pretty insane like you could rewind this video 10 seconds and be like did he just say that yeah it comes right out of my drill pay so on a drill weekend, I make around 400, which, you know, whatever. It is it is what it is, 450 bucks or something for three days. I'm not doing it for the money. However, I'm not losing money. So I go up there, I get paid like a small per diem, and then I make 
then like half of it is taken out and my family, my wife and all my kids have a card, which is super, super cool. The insurance would cost probably 16 to seven, maybe 2,500 bucks even, maybe about 16 to $1,800 a month for my family to have full benefits. Um, and that's, that's the prime. So they, if one of my kids get hurt, gets hurt on a bike, you know, God forbid or anything like that, they all have a card. She just takes them to any hospital pretty much, gives them a card and it's just all paid for. That's awesome. 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 Okay. That's very, very nice. So anyway, this video is kind of getting long. The, the three people that even will watch this and actually comprehend what I'm saying is, uh, it'll be worth it for them. Start, even if you're like, no, I absolutely don't want to go into the reserves right now. What are you really waiting for? Like dive in, don't recognize yourself in a year. A year from now, you shouldn't recognize yourself. And a year after that, you shouldn't recognize yourself. Keep your, keep your purity, keep your heart, keep your passion for things, but professionally don't recognize yourself. Be better every single year. And I mean, the, the, the benefits you get joining the military, I would join the Coast Guard. It's just, window cleaning and Coast Guard for some reason goes together or like Marines that they're a little rigid, but it's just the clean cut <clears throat> gentleman, you know, like type of person that seems to be in window cleaning and in, uh, in the Coast Guard. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some window cleaners are grunts. I know a lot of them, but, uh, most of the residential guys I know that people like are just clean cut dudes. So I guess the last thing I'll say, the point of the video is don't piss away your life on just window cleaning because you're just going to go over and over and over. Challenge yourself, get into the reserves. If you're going to get in at all, get in now. And then, and then the 10 years, it's going to give you more discipline. It's going to show you what's outside your little box. And it's, if you can take some of the habits you learn in the military and apply them to your window cleaning company, your family, your wife, your kids are going to benefit so much more. And so will you by being a military dude. I mean, you could even tell people, Hey, uh, it's run by a military guy. And I, I just think it'll be cool. So join earlier, go your whole thirties decade, and then you'll, you'll be halfway to retirement and you retire, you retire with decent pay. Um, even in the reserves. And the, the biggest thing is, is benefits for pretty much the rest of your life if you retire at 20 years. <clears throat> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything else that has to do with window cleaning, small business, you know, being a parent, being a spouse, or being in the military. See ya.